International Tea Chag Day. We're coming to you today from the NAA headquarters in Lexington, Kentucky. And while this isn't necessarily where we had planned to be today, like every good ag teacher, we're trying to be flexible with the current situation. If you're following along today, we encourage you to use the hashtags tagged20 and teachag with all of your social media posts, and we'll be monitoring those and sharing those throughout the day. And really, National Teach Ag Day can be any day that works for you. Every day is a great day to share with others the incredible opportunities that are available as an agriculture teacher. We are grateful at the National Teach Ag Campaign to have incredible sponsors and supporters. So we want us to take a quick moment and give a shout out to the CHS Foundation, Corteva AgriScience, Growth Energy, and BASF for their continued support of the NAAE National Teach Ag Campaign. NAA is a membership organization for agricultural educators. Those individuals who across the country are sharing the joys and opportunities available in agriculture. There are more than 13,000 agriculture teachers across this country in more than 9,000 programs. We're honored at NAA to be able to provide professional development support to them, teacher recruitment and retention, and advocate for agricultural education. This year's president, Mr. Parker Bain, is an agriculture teacher in Illinois. Parker has served since December as the president and continues to be an outstanding agriculture teacher in his community. Parker, take it away. Welcome to the 2020 National Teach Ag Day celebration. My name is Parker Bain and I'm currently serving as the NAAE president for this year. It's my pleasure to welcome you to my classroom here at Normal Community West High School in Normal, Illinois. And like many of you, this school year looks a little bit different for me. In fact, I'm fully remote teaching right now, at least until October. However, I'm confident that we're gonna provide as good of an opportunity for our students as we can, and I know that we're gonna provide a great Teach Ag Day celebration experience for you to join with us today. It's my pleasure to first start to talk to you a little bit about the benefits of choosing agriculture education as a career. And to do that, I wanna think back to when I got my start. It was actually in a classroom very similar to this one. I was serving as a state FFA officer in between my high school and college years, and I happened to be working that day with a student that was struggling to get through high school. After working with this student for a little bit, something kind of clicked and then the student decided to take advantage of some leadership development opportunities that he wouldn't have normally pursued. I figured that out and after that moment I realized that teaching high school agriculture might be a good career for me. A lot of teachers will talk about the impact that they make in the lives of students in their communities and that's a great benefit of being an ag teacher. However, it's not the only benefit. We have great working conditions. Schools are often very vibrant and energetic environments. It's a lot of fun to come to work on a daily basis. The benefits are great, and the pay is generally pretty good for agriculture educators across the country. I would give you strong encouragement to take a look at not only the personal impact you can make, but the financial and working condition benefits that you can get by pursuing agriculture education as your career. Once you make the decision to choose agriculture education, I would give you very strong encouragement to look at membership in the National Association of Agriculture Educators. Over 8,000, almost 9,000 members strong, NAAE provides great opportunities for advocacy, professional development, and networking. In fact, I can say that programs that NAAE offers, like the award programs and CASE, have personally impacted my teaching and my life and have made me a better teacher and person. Once again, I would like to welcome you to the festivities of the National Teach Ag Day celebration. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope that you have an awesome experience however you choose to engage with us. Quick note to those of you that are having post-site celebrations today, now would be a great time to post on social media a picture of where you're celebrating National Teach Ag Day. Remember to use the hashtag, tagged20, 
and teach ag in all of your posts. We want to see whether you're in a classroom, your virtual home office, or those of you that are on campuses across the country having a virtual watch party. We want to see what you're doing and share it with the world. So make sure that you're posting. Since 2011, the CHS Foundation and the NAAE National Teach Ag Campaign have been great partners. Through this partnership, we've been able to raise the bar on teacher recruitment and retention, expand our programming, and ensure that we do have a quality and diverse supply of agriculture teachers, whether that's through our FAST programming, which is a pre-service program for agricultural educators, the Teach Ag Ambassador program, National Teach Ag Day, or one of the many other programs where we celebrate agriculture teachers and encourage others to become agriculture teachers. It's all possible because the CHS Foundation and their premier support of the National Teach Ag Campaign. Thank you to the CHS Foundation and congratulations on your new venture, My Local Cooperative, which is another partnership with NAAE to spread the message about cooperatives and their impact on communities, as well as expose students to careers in cooperatives. Because while not everybody can be an agriculture teacher, there are opportunities for everyone in agriculture. Thank you again to the CHS Foundation. Education, community, agriculture. Since its beginning in 2018, the National Association of Agricultural Educators, My Local Cooperative Initiative, has been working to advance agriculture cooperatives by educating the next generation of leaders and entrepreneurs about the benefits and opportunities of agriculture cooperatives. One of the major components of the My Local Cooperative Initiative are engaging, inquiry-based, and ready-to-use instructional modules that provide agricultural educators with everything they need to deliver quality instruction on the cooperative business model to their students. These modules, along with additional support videos, cooperative basic resources, and tools to locate cooperatives near you, all can be found on the NAAE My Local Cooperative website. As the project heads into 2020, NAAE looks forward to continued growth of the My Local Cooperative Initiative by offering workshops for educators, classroom grants for field trips and instructional supplies, as well as continuing to promote cooperatives and modules available through all forms of media. NAAE would like to thank the CHS Foundation for making the work of the My Local Cooperative Initiative possible. CHS Foundation for everything you've done over the course of the last decade to support agriculture teachers and agricultural education through the National Teach Ag Campaign. We're honored and thrilled to be part of such a powerful partnership. Well, while this year isn't exactly what we had hoped and we usually have a room full of live attendees and everyone is celebrating and we have balloons and cake and all kinds of wonderful things, this year was gonna be even more special because we had planned to have sites all across the country who were going to host Teach Ag Day parties. And while we aren't able to join those parties because school looks just a little bit different this year, and a big shout out to all the teachers across the country who are doing their best to make learning impactful and meaningful during this time, we do still have these sites that our hosts for these amazing celebration kits. And the kits have a really cool uh, stuff to them. And the teachers receive them and they're able to use the contents of those kits to spread joy and to spread the Teach Ag message and hopefully encourage some of the students in their classroom to consider this great career of teaching agriculture. Inside these host kits is a number of things to help these programs celebrate from a door skin, of encouraging words to interactive notebook where the students can engage in meaningful and thoughtful reflection on teaching ag, ask questions, learn more about what it's like to be an ag teacher. There are a number of things in there to host a party if a 
If a site is able to do that, including napkins and streamers and balloons and all the things that you would need to have a really fun Teach Ag Day party, as well as uh, posters and handouts and t-shirts and all kinds of things to tag someone to become an ag teacher. We have about 42 sites across the country that are hosting these kits and that are hosting these celebrations, whether they're virtual or whether they're able to be in person or potentially even picking an entirely different day that works best for them and their program during these unprecedented times. Hi everybody, my name is Noah. And my name is Rosalie. And we're students with the Nevada Teach Program at the University of Nevada, Reno. And we're here to open up our 2020 National Teach Ag Day Celebration Kit. Let's get started. All right, welcome to my live unboxing of my Teach Ag Box. Well, good morning. This is Troy Mayfield. I'm coming to you live from Pueblo County High School. And I'm really excited. I have the Teach Ag 2020 box and we're going to open it up and see what's in here. To unveil, I did put on my best career ever shirt referencing NAAE and just on the back a shout out to the important sponsors that help make Teach Ag and other events possible. As this is my uh, 21st year of teaching high school ag and I'm excited. So let's see what kind of goodies that they gave us. Wow! This box is Damn, it's packed with stuff. Show me what you got. We've got some cards and some invitations for our key tag day. Tag the key tag post, uh, postcard. Key tag make a different stickers as well as the Teach Ag Make a Difference promo. Let's see, we've got, looks like a bunch of t-shirts uh, that say, I Teach Ag, or Teach Ag, Make a Difference. And really, this profession, this is where you make a difference. And look, lots of shirts, cool tie-dye shirts, Hashtag teach ag made a difference. Teach ag sunglasses. Teach ag. Going to have to look at my list to figure out what this is. Wow, a lot of, a lot of t-shirts. A lot, a lot, a lot of t-shirts. Continuing to dig into this party box, we have. A banner that celebrates tags to teach ag. My name is, my interest, why I plan to teach, and where my degree is from. Uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of t shirts. Like Continuing to dive in for the Teach Ag event, a whole experience on Thursday, September 17th. Again, tune in, get to experience it. But there is a guide that includes Ag Ed for All, focusing on inclusion, diversity, equity, helping others feel valued and respected, thanking our sponsors, um, celebrating why we teach Ag, and then connecting to the Teach Ag webcast. Wow, look at this, face mask. And then something that I'll only wear once or twice, teach egg necktie because I'm an ag teacher. And we don't have to wear neckties all the time, but anytime we have an FFA activity, I'll wear this necktie. We have some teach egg owls. A teach egg bow tie. Now that might make me want to start wearing a bow tie. I'd say I'm an eye teacher by choice and not by chance. On water bottles? Three water bottles and they have the little thing in there so I can have like cucumber water and be all bougie. Very large poster. Inspire by your passion. 
teach Ag awesome posts so we can hang up in our classroom in here? It's gonna get a huge banner that celebrates Inspire, find your passion, mentor young leaders. I can't read the rest of it backwards, but you get the idea. Luggage tag. Socks! Teach egg socks! Oh man, look out because come Thursday, September 17th. These babies are going to be on my feet. Super, super excited for these. And then we got some supplies for the baby. Okay, okay. A gourd for 10. <laughs> some streamers. We can have a two bag party in here. These little like black flags. Is that what they're called? Flags? Flags? Kind of flags. Love you, <laughs> As an agricultural educator, I know I have the best career ever. This profession gives you a giant family and being an ag teacher is maybe one of the most important things that I've ever done in my life. And that's it. We're super excited for Teach Ag week next week and Teach Ag Day on September 17th. Stay tuned, we'll be posting lots and lots of fun stuff throughout the week and check back. All of the host kits contained an About Me poster. Some of you may recall these from when you were in elementary school and it was your special day and you had a poster that said all the things about you. Well, we redid that Teach Ag style. And we're asking all of those sites now to share theirs on social media using Tagged20 or Teach Ag. We wanna see your About Me posters. And students, in your interactive notebooks, there's an opportunity for you to create one as well. This is where you can share what your favorite CDE or LDE is, tell a little bit about what your favorite ag class might be, or, you know, just share why you want to teach ag. And agriculture teachers, make sure you post these in your classrooms and refer back to them from time to time throughout the year to continue to spread the teach ag message to students who are thinking about becoming agriculture teachers. great things about National Teach Ag Day is hearing directly from our amazing agriculture teachers. Those agriculture teachers who are doing everything that they can to make a difference, mentor and motivate students in their classrooms. And today we have four incredible teachers who are going to share their stories with you. One of the great things about being an agriculture teacher is having that ability to connect with students. Dr. Veronica Sanders, who teaches in Georgia, is one of those teachers. Her students know that, they, that she cares about them. They know that she is there because she believes in what they are able to become. And it's teachers like Dr. Sanders and the others that we're going to meet today that make this profession really the place to be. So I'd like to now introduce to you Dr. Veronica Sanders. Hello, my name is Dr. Veronica Sanders and I'm a teacher at Warner Robins High School. And I've been asked to give you something inspiring about being a part of the best career ever, the field of agriculture. I want to encourage you that majoring in the field of agriculture was one of the greatest benefits to my life. And I know it will be the same for you. There are several things that I could say, but I wanted the pictures in the back to speak volumes. As you can see, agriculture is one of the most versatile careers in which you can have. Whether you're working with rabbits, working at the cannon plant, working with goats, and winning awards, landscaping, surveying, and even electrical wiring, or an occasional cute selfie. Agriculture gives you all of that. And I want to encourage you, 
when thinking about a career, I want you to think about the field of agriculture. But I've also been asked to say something motivating. And many people have told me that I'm motivating. And I just want to share something with you that hope in hopes that it motivates you as well as others. If it doesn't, guess what? Just don't tell me. Just act like you were motivated anyway, okay? All right. So this is a poem that I sincerely love, and it's called Don't Quit. And the um, author of it is unknown. And that leads to an enrichment point. Make a mark on your life or on someone else's life that cannot be erased. Make sure that when they say your name, people know exactly who you are. You don't want that statement, author unknown, because this poem not only impacted me, but I'm sure it impacted millions of people. And we can't even give credit to the person who deserves credit for writing this poem, okay? So make sure that when you do something in your life, it can be stamped with a notary because that is something can, that cannot be erased. But this is my favorite poem and I hopefully it inspires you. Don't quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high and you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but do not quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learn. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You might succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. Often the struggler has given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late when the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. Success is failure turned inside out, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may seem near when it seems afar. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit and when things seem worse, that you mustn't quit. I want to encourage you, don't give up on your dreams. I want to encourage you to stay in the field of agriculture. If you're not in the field of agriculture, it is not too late to change your mind. And I want you to make sure that you're hanging around people that empower you. And that leads me to a quick story because my time is going to be up. I was at an event. And when I was at the event, I was sitting at a table with people that I did not know. And when I was sitting down and I was listening to the conversation at the table, I was a tad bit confused because I'm like, how are you sitting at this table, but you're talking about the people that we should be coming here for in oneness? What did I learn from that? Because every experience that I, everything that I encounter, I try to learn something from that. And that is my word for you. Be careful about who you let sit at your table. Make sure the people at your table want you to win. Make sure the people that are at your table are breathing the breath of life into you. Make sure the people at your table sincerely have your interests at heart. Because I want you to know, no matter which profession you choose, if you hang around five negative people, you will be the sixth person. We don't want negativity, we want growth, we want excellence, and we want all of the things that we have been promised in this land of the living. So if I had to inspire you about the best career ever, best career field ever, agriculture, I get the opportunity to empower students. I get the opportunity to change their mind. Yes, I get to do all those things too, but guess what? I get to change their mind and let them know, no matter how many negative words that have been spoken in their life, that they can change everything if they change their thinking. I pray this empowers you. I pray that you know that you can do anything you make up your mind to do. And I just have a little bit of something else for you, okay? I just wanna say this. FFA is the way to go. You gotta get with the crew. You already know. When you join FFA, you have lots of fun. Why? Because Dr. Sam is number one. FFA. Hey, I just wanna give you that little bit, that little party. You all have a blessed day. Be empowered and choose the best career ever. Bye-bye. The National Teach Act campaign for more than 10 years has been a place where we can really emphasize and focus on high quality and diverse teacher recruitment and retention. We're able to do that because of so many individuals who have dedicated countless hours and their time, talents, and treasures to ensuring that we do have this abundant supply of quality and diverse agriculture teachers. 
Every year, the National Teach Ag Campaign recognizes individuals, groups, and organizations who have gone above and beyond to showcase and make the Teach Ag message a priority and important and help us spread that so that we can have great, amazing teachers for every student across the country. Each year, the NAAE National Teach Ag Campaign formally recognizes individuals and organizations who work tirelessly to address the national demand for agriculture teachers as Teach Ag Champions. This year's Teach Ag Champions were selected based upon their commitment to providing high quality inquiry-based professional development to pre-service agriculture teachers as NAAE facilitators, their unwavering support of the NAAE National Teach Ag Campaign, and their extensive involvement in the National Association of Agricultural Educators. The 2020 NAAE National Teach Ag Champions are Mr. David Black of Murray State University in Kentucky, Ms. Krista Pontius of Greenwood High School in Pennsylvania, and Ms. Rachel Salva of New Richmond High School in Wisconsin. A retired agriculture teacher of more than 30 years, Mr. David Black now works as the Racer Academy of Agriculture Program Coordinator for Murray State University. In this role, he works with more than 120 Kentucky agriculture teachers and 1,500 students in the dual credit enrollment program, providing an opportunity for high school students to earn college credit while in high school. In NAAE, he's been recognized as a National Teacher of the Year, was awarded the Region 3 Outstanding Service Citation in 2018, and currently serves as an NAAE mentor facilitator and trainer. David has had the opportunity to work with a large group of college students, teachers, facilitators, and trainers, and says it is a thrill to work with pre-service teachers and to help them find the tools that they need to be successful in their own classroom. To him, their excitement is contagious and it's rewarding to be a part of their journey. David said, I want to help other teachers learn how to be the best teacher that they can possibly be. Our next NAAE National Teach Ag Champion is Ms. Krista Pontius, who is the agriculture teacher at Greenwood High School in Pennsylvania. During her 24 years as an agriculture teacher, Krista has been an active NAAE member, serving in the past as the Region 6 Vice President and is a current National Agri-Science Teacher Ambassador Academy Facilitator. In this role, she's conducted inquiry workshops, future agri-science teacher symposiums, accelerate programs, and more. Krista says that she loves working with pre-service agriculture teachers because of their excitement of new ideas and their bright futures in the classroom. And she loves experiencing the frustration of participants while working through inquiry processes to solve complex problems. In her own classroom, Krista is committed to giving students the opportunity to get to know each other through a variety of activities and discussions, allowing them to feel comfortable and valued. Our final 2020 NAAE National Teach Ag Champion is Ms. Rachel Savala, the agriculture teacher at New Richmond High School in Wisconsin, who is considered as a leader and innovative in agricultural education by many. In her 22 years of teaching agriculture, Rachel's had the opportunity to grow her program and in 2014 added a school farm known as the Student Opportunities with Agriculture Resources or SOAR Educational Center. Rachel says that she loves working with students and each and every day she has the opportunity to learn something new. Rachel is also a facilitator for many of NAAE's professional development programs, allowing her to work with a realm of agriculture teachers, from pre-service college students to teachers who have more teaching experience than her. She is committed to helping teachers of all experience levels develop plans for a safe and inclusive classroom learning environment, where every student has the opportunity to be their authentic, true self. We'd again like to thank our 2020 NAAE National Teach Ag Champions, as well as our past Teach Ag Champions, for their continued commitment to raising awareness of the need to recruit and retain high quality and diverse agriculture teachers. It is thanks to individuals and partnering organizations like these and our sponsor partners, the CHS Foundation, Corteva AgriScience, Growth Energy, and BASF that help make the work of the NAAE National Teach Ag Campaign possible. the National Teach Ag Campaign selects pre-service agricultural education majors to serve as National Teach Ag Ambassadors. 
These ambassadors help us spread the Teach Ag message across the country through events, through our external outreach media, and a number of different ways directly in classrooms at near their institutions. These ambassadors attend one of the more than 100 programs across the country that offer an agricultural education degree. Let's meet these outstanding National Teach Ag Ambassadors. Hello, my name is Katherine Lampy, and I'm currently serving as a National Teach Ag Ambassador. I'm attending the University of Wisconsin River Falls, pursuing a degree in agricultural education. My name is Elena Gonzalez. I'm from Fresno, California, going to school at CSU Fresno. I'm so excited to be a part of the National Teach Ag Ambassador team this year. Hi everyone, my name is Grant Sanchez, currently studying agriculture education here at Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. Hi everyone. I'm Renee Stilwell and I'm a senior at Delaware Valley University as an agricultural education major. Hey guys, my name is Lysandra Mejia and I'm a sophomore majoring in agricultural education at North Carolina State University. Go Pack! Hi everyone, my name is Haley Talaski and I'm currently here from Michigan State University studying agriculture, food, and natural resources education. I'm so proud to be an ambassador this year. My name is Amador Gonzalez. I am a senior at New Mexico State University studying agricultural and extension education. Hello everyone, my name is Tyler Noyes and I am a National Teach Ag Ambassador from the great state of Montana. I am currently a student at Montana State University studying agriculture education. My name is Madeline Music and I'm an agricultural education major at Oklahoma State University. Hey everybody, I'm Zach Mills, a senior agricultural education student at the University of Tennessee at Martin. Brock Fox, and I'm a senior agricultural education student at Southwest Minnesota State University. Hello, my name is Jordan Sanford, and I'm the National Tea Jag Ambassador with the great state of Texas, and I wanted to wish you all a happy National Tea Jag Day. Hi everyone, I am Morgan Dinky, and I am a junior agricultural education major in one of this year's National Teach Ag Ambassadors. My name is John Bazemore and I'm a senior agriculture education major at Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College in Tifton, Georgia. The National Teach Ag Campaign and Corteva AgriScience have been partners since 2014. We are grateful to Corteva AgriScience for their continued support of agricultural educators through the National Teach Ag Campaign, the Curriculum for Agricultural Science Education, the National AgriScience Teacher Ambassador Program, among many other things that have been made possible because of Corteva AgriScience. Thank you, Corteva AgriScience, for everything that you do for agriculture teachers on today, National Teach Ag Day, and every day of the year. The world's challenges are growing. Our climate is changing. Natural resources are declining and the populations are increasing, which means we'll need to grow too. We strive to enrich the lives of those who produce and those who consume, ensuring progress for generations to come. We work for farmers, families, the environment, and our communities. Sustainability and safety are our priority. Community service is what we do. We work with the partnership AMPATH, the academic model providing access to healthcare. We reduce food waste through partnerships along the food supply chain. We grow with purpose by ensuring the stability of the global food supply. When we listen, learn, help, and collaborate with everyone, we put consumers and producers first. We're Corteva AgriScience, and we grow with purpose. On behalf of Corteva AgriScience's 20,000 employees around the world, I wish to thank the agriculture educators for ensuring students experience the joys and understand the challenges of agriculture. Ag teachers inspire and empower students to be the leaders that will tackle and solve our global challenges. Students, if you're looking for a career that can change lives in a field that impacts every life, then consider becoming an ag teacher. We so need high quality and diverse professionals to help in the mission to feed our growing world. Corteva AgriScience is so proud to support your efforts both in and out of the classroom. Thank you for choosing to be an important part 
of our industry. Another engagement moment. Now is a good time for all of you agriculture teachers out there to go ahead and post on social media using Tag20 and Teach Ag and describe in one word what being an agriculture teacher is like. And knowing most ag teachers, you'll probably break the rules just a little bit and it's okay if you want to use more than one word. And we'll be sharing those throughout the day on the Teach Ag social media accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and others, so that you can continue to engage and learn what it's like to be in the best career ever. So ag teachers, share with us again what your, how you would describe being an agriculture teacher in one word, or three words, or 10, or whatever rule you want to make for yourself. Mr. Ethan Dato is a second year agriculture teacher in Minnesota. He has a unique ability to encourage, inspire, and cultivate learning and knowledge within his students because of his deep connection to agriculture and to making a difference in his school and community. We're really delighted to have Mr. Dato with us today to share his words of wisdom and inspiration with all of you. Mr. Dato, take it away. Hello, agricultural educators, education students, future teachers, and all Ag Ed supporters. My name is Ethan Dato, and I have the privilege of being the agricultural education teacher and FFA advisor in Mankato, Minnesota, the southern part of the state. My history, my story into agricultural education is one that is unique to me, but also once you hear it, you're like, oh, that's pretty obvious why you're a teacher. I grew up on my family's 500 cow dairy farm in northwestern Wisconsin and was involved with agricultural organizations from a very young age. I was able to join FFA in eighth grade, as young as our school allowed it, and quickly began uh, getting involved. Throughout that time, um, I really found my place and loved uh, FFA and was extremely committed throughout my time in high school. However, when graduating, I found myself attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities. Uh, my freshman year really deciding with what my future plan was and really wanted something that not only I found myself talented at, but also filled a strong purpose in, in this world. And that's where I really found agricultural education. I originally went to school majoring in uh, animal science pre-vet with actually goals to be, go to medical school and become a doctor. Now I quickly realized this is not what I wanted to do uh, because I didn't feel like that's what I was the strongest at. That's not where my gifts aligned. That summer, however, is when I, when I found out. That summer, uh, I was uh, doing some traveling and meeting with a lot of different people and, and met uh, an agricultural educator that's still one of my mentors today. And he, he shared with us that uh, doctors don't save lives, they extend them teachers save lives. And from that moment, I knew the power, the impact of being a teacher, especially an agricultural educator. Now, my perspective and shift on saving lives has definitely changed over time. And now my philosophy uh, more aligns with that education is the foundation of a successful and prosperous life. And I believe that education has the power to change things for all young people. And that's why I show up. That's why I wake up and attend school every day to work with these young folks. Now, uh, I, this power has come to life for me. During the 2019-2020 school year, Mankato Area Public Schools actually reintroduced AFNR programming to the school district. We began with only 40 students enrolled in my AFNR courses. And definitely had a lot of growing pains through that time. But seeing on the Egg Ed Discussion Lab and meeting so many other young egg teachers from across the country, starting programs is definitely something that continues to happen. And so us new programs definitely have a place and purpose for the future. Now during the 2020-2021 school year, so this school year, um, the second year of our programming, we have actually grown into over 280 students in AFNR programming, an over 700% increase. This has been incredible to see, and I really believe that it is because the, the power of education and the power our district is seeing in AFNR programming. 
I definitely couldn't be here and experience this type of growth without the support of our incredible AFNR advisory board, a super strong administration, and just an overall excitement for agricultural education. I think that students hop on board with whatever the, the teachers are excited about. And so that's my challenge today, to get excited about agricultural education, FFA, and pass that excitement on to those that are watching you. Because trust me, there are numerous, and it will lead uh, your program and you as an individual to new heights. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing the growth agricultural education has because you're a part of it. Thank you. and the National Teach Ag campaign have been partners since 2014. Growth Energy has been a great supporter of agriculture teachers through the National Teach Ag campaign, through the Curriculum for Agricultural Science ed Education, as well as building and developing an ethanol curriculum available to agriculture teachers across the country. We are grateful to Growth Energy's support of the National Teach Ag campaign, and we appreciate their continued commitment to ensuring a quality and diverse supply of agriculture teachers. There is no shortage of outstanding and amazing agriculture teachers across this country. Michelle Ooy, an agriculture teacher in Idaho, is certainly a prime example of one of them. She's a real go-getter and positive role model in her school and community and she encourages her students to bring, be their very best every day and helps them see all of the opportunities available to them in agriculture. Michelle, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Oy, and I'm currently a fifth year teacher at Wendell High School in Southern Idaho. And I'm super excited to be sending you this video explaining why your career choice is one of the best careers ever. I didn't always want to be an agricultural educator. For a while, I wanted to be a lawyer. And at one point, I even wanted to be Abby Shuto off of NCIS and become a forensic scientist. But as I learned more about myself as I went through high school and my own agricultural program, I decided that this is where I needed to be for probably the rest of my life. Now, one of the things that that is so exciting about our job and so rewarding about our job is the influence that we have a lot of the times in our schools and programs. As an agricultural educator, I get to design a program that best benefits my students and the community around me. When I first joined Wendell High School, there was no shop welding, nothing. But when talking to community members in the area, I learned that there was a large interest in having workers from Wendell High School or having students from Wendell High School work at a local manufacturing business. So when I joined Wendell High School staff, I was very adamant about the need for a program that supported our community and supported the businesses that in turn support our school. I had very little pushback. And it was, it's so rewarding because now we have three welding classes, I have a small engines class, and I have students that fill them all the time. And I have students in those classes that are excited to be there. And so I've now gone from a program that had nothing to do with manufacturing to a program that is heavily invested in their welding students and wanting them to succeed in a future with a welding career. The next reason that this job is so rewarding is the students in general. These students come to our classes because they feel that there is a reason to be there. They don't always have to take our classes to graduate, so the ones that are, that are there usually have a purpose. They're interested in our classes, they enjoy what we do, they enjoy having hands-on classes, and they enjoy being there. These students later become our FFA members who we watch strive for greatness outside of the classroom in their LDEs, CDEs, and SAEs. Sometimes we watch them fall, but we help them pick up the pieces and get better for their next attempt. Other times we watch them achieve more than they could ever imagine, and we're always the ones right behind them telling them that, they, that we know that they can do it 
and they, that we knew they were capable of greatness. So these students and the schools and the programs that you are going to help develop, help them find their passion, and help them achieve greatness are some of the very many reasons that being an agricultural educator is one of the best jobs in the world. And I highly encourage you to finish your education here and move on to a career that is going to be rewarding for the rest of your life. And whether you're having second thoughts or whether you're kind of burnt out this point from school, I promise you that when you get into the classroom, it will all be worth it and you won't regret a single second. Earlier, you met some of our National Teach Ag Ambassadors and you could see the passion and enthusiasm that they had for agricultural education and you could see how lucky their future students are going to be to have them as teachers. Being an agricultural education major is unique and amazing and fun, but don't take it from me. Let's hear from them what it's really like to be an agricultural education major and help maybe answer some of the questions you have about what it's like to go to college. I know that agricultural education is my career calling because it combines my passion for advocating for the agricultural industry and ensuring that I leave an impact on the next generation. And because of this and the fact that whenever I think about the future, I imagine myself in the classroom. And it is those two factors that ensure me that agricultural education is my career calling. Absolutely not. Agriculture is such a big field and has a spot for every type of personality, every type of interest out there. I'm here to tell you three ways how you get to practice being an agricultural teacher while you're in college. Number one is internships. There are dozens of internships available for agricultural education students all over the country. Number two is youth development. Local 4-H programs love having agricultural education students come in and help with their youth development programs. Number three is your student teaching experience where you get to work with real students in real classrooms. Well, for me personally, I have to take some animal sciences, some plant sciences, some ag business classes, an entomology class, some shop and welding classes, and then some generic teacher preparation classes that teach me how to develop an excellent program in ag ed, how to develop curriculum, and also how to utilize different teaching methods in the classroom. The best advice I can give anyone pursuing agricultural education is to get close to your fellow future teachers. The Ag Ed family is one huge support system, but it starts in school and it starts now. You are all in this together and will be thankful to have each other through learning, student teaching, and beyond. And I'm so excited to share some practices that I get to do each and every day that benefit me in becoming a better ag teacher. One example could be the subjects that you're learning in your class. Here I'm in an animal science class and I'm trying to take as much knowledge as I can because I know that that is a subject I really want to teach when I'm an ag teacher. To me, ag has become a family. I came to ABAC, I knew nobody and I was in Another program for two years and I came to Ag Ed and they welcomed me with open arms. We use a cohort model at ABAC, so your senior year you have the same people in all your classes. So I know I have 40 people who I may not know all that well, but they can help me not just with schoolwork, but they can help me with other things. If I run out of gas in the middle of the night, I know there are 40 people who are willing to bring me a gas can. One thing that I really look forward to, to becoming an ag teacher, is being able to create a fun and exciting learning environment for all of my students. It's so important for students to be able to feel comfortable and welcoming in the classroom. Yes, there are. There are several scholarships available through the NAAE 
and the National Teach Ag campaign to help wonderful students like yourself become future agriculture educators. And that would have to be being a guest judge at a different speaking event. Not the actual judging, but after that, a lot of students come up and ask for critiques, and I love giving them. I think that critiques are some of the best ways to help students get better. Um, and normally during this opportunity, I would give them some of the little tips and tricks that I learned during high school and a lot of times we'll ask if they can kind of practice them on me and I love when they do that. Lastly, if I can go back and tell my high school freshman self something, I would tell her to keep going. Ag seemed very intimidating to me, but little did I know that this industry would house my career and everything that I am eternally grateful for. Now, my most memorable experience here at Purdue has to be the traveling aspect, specifically through studying abroad. So my first time overseas was actually with the College of Education to Slovakia, where I got to teach fifth and sixth graders some agriculture lessons for a week. And then that following May, I traveled with the College of Agriculture down to Jamaica, where we got to submerge ourselves in Jamaican culture for a month and then um, really experience Jamaican agriculture, see what agriculture education is like in that country upon many, many other things. The person who has inspired me to do so has been my own ag teacher, Mr. Engel. Mr. Engel works every day to make sure that his students are on the proper path to success. Something that motivates me is that students often don't feel valued or know their true purpose in this world. As a future teacher, I want to make sure that every student that walks through my door knows that they belong, that they are wanted, and that they are loved. If you're considering teaching ag, I want you to take the chance and opportunity to speak to everyone you know about the career. You'd be surprised what you find. Teaching Ag has a community of people who are always willing to help you. No matter what you do, whether you decide to pursue the career or not, I guarantee you're going to make a handful of friends along the way. It takes a village to raise an agriculture teacher. At this time, I encourage all agriculture teachers to post using tag 20 using the hashtag tagged 20 and the hashtag teach ag to share who inspired and mentors you as an agriculture teacher and give them a shout out and some kudos for everything they've done to encourage and inspire and support your career as an agriculture teacher. this time we were celebrating 10 years of Teach Ag success at the BSF headquarters in Raleigh. We had a fireworks show and cake and balloons and amazing individuals who have been a part of the National Teach Ag campaign success. And while we're not in Raleigh this year, we certainly appreciate everything BSF has done to continue to support the work that we do at the National Teach Ag campaign. Thank you BASF for being such an incredible partner. Tony McCall is another outstanding example of one of the great agriculture teachers we have in this country. Tony has been very involved in the State Teach Ag Results Program, ensuring that Michigan has the quality and diverse supply of agriculture teachers that they need, while also running an incredible program with countless facilities while inspiring the students that are in his program. We are so grateful to Tony and all of the more than 13,000 teachers across the country who are showing up every day, especially this year, in new ways to make learning fun, exciting, engaging, and meaningful for their students. Tony, take it away. Have you ever thought of why you should be an ag teacher? I'm Tony McCall. I've been teaching for 12 years, and every day I'm excited to be an ag teacher. So let me tell you a little bit why maybe you should be an ag teacher. For 12 years, I wake up every day excited because I know that I'm going to have a challenge, a good challenge. So, it either could be working with animals, plants, or even students. I can tell you right now that everyone is connected to their food. 
when you connect it to your food, that makes a big difference. You know, we are going to have a growing population that we're going to have to feed, and we're going to change this world by the kids that we impact every day. And that is going to make a difference in the future. Also, think about our students. Think about the kids you get to impact. They're going to be ones that might come in, might not be sure about themselves, but you can make a difference. You can make them understand why they're valuable and how they can make an impact with our food system. So think about ag education. Maybe you're someone sitting there going, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to be a teacher. But every day when you come in, you get to work with plants and animals and students. You know, there's times that I can think of students that came into my class nervous, scared, not really sure. There was one time that their student came in, not from an ag background. Now, she is traveling around the United States for uh, minorities in agriculture, making an impact. And it was this program that made a difference. You could have the same impact as an ag teacher. So think about that. You know, as you're sitting there watching this video, you might ask yourself, do I have the skill set? You can do it. Think about how you can make an impact. Yes, you're right. I could go make more money other places, but I choose to be here as an ag teacher. 12 years, I've decided to come to class every day because I know by the end of the year, I'm going to have friends with the students because they're going to be someone that's always going to be part of my family. But more important, they're going to go somewhere and they're going to make an impact. And secondly, I know that I'm making a difference in our community, especially in agriculture. So today, as it's National Teach Ag Day, think about it. Should you be an ag teacher? Okay, students, we want to see your agriculture teacher creatures. Do they have a great big head for all of the knowledge that they have up there in their brains? Do they have 10 hands because they're always busy doing a number of different things? Is their heart extraordinarily big because they care so much for their students? Or maybe they have a cape on because they're a superhero, which we of course know that they certainly are. But this one's for you. We want to see in your interactive notebook what your agriculture teacher creature looks like using hashtag tagged 20 and hashtag teach ag. So post away and we can't wait to share those and see the incredible creations that you've all made. Throughout the last 10 years of the National Teach Ag campaign, there's been one apparent truth, and that is that the majority of people who become ag teachers do so because someone told them that they should think about becoming an ag teacher. So essentially tagging someone to teach ag. We hope that all across the country today and really any day that teachers in their classrooms are identifying students and future agriculture teachers by telling them that this is a great career and that this is something that they should consider. Right now, I'd like to welcome and meet some of those future agricultural educators who have been tagged to teach ag.
make you sad Like making big mistakes I feel like for the first time in a long time I am not afraid I feel like a kid Never thought it'd feel like this Like when I close my eyes Throughout the day, we've heard from a number of individuals with their inspiring words of encouragement. We've learned about what it takes to be an agricultural education major, and hopefully you've had an opportunity to find out a little bit more about why teaching ag is truly the best career ever, where you get to make a positive difference every single day. So if you're thinking, you know, teaching ag kind of sounds like it might be something I'm interested in, you might want to know what you can do next. What we recommend is that first and foremost, if you have an agriculture teacher, talk to them, ask them about what it's like to be an agriculture teacher. Where did they go to school? What are the things that they that you should be thinking about now as you prepare to in, as you prepare to enroll in an ag ed degree program? What college courses might you need to take in high school or could you take in high school to further you down the line? So first, talk to your agriculture teacher. If that's not an option for you, we encourage you to check out the NAAE Teach Ag website, where we have a number of resources, including frequently asked questions, facts about teaching agriculture, places where you can find a degree program, job postings, certification requirements, and really all the ins and outs of what it's really like to be an agriculture teacher. You heard from four outstanding agriculture teachers today, but it's always great the more ag teachers you can talk to so you can really find your space and what's going to make you the very best ag teacher that you can be. First and foremost, we hope that you're interested in working with young people every day and inspiring them through agriculture. National Teach Ag Day is a nationwide celebration to encourage others to teach ag and to celebrate our agriculture teachers. But really, any day of the year is a great day to start planning and preparing for your career. Whether you're in high school, college, or maybe looking at that second, second go-round career, we want you to think that there is a place for you in agricultural education. There's something for everyone in Ag Ed. It truly is for everyone. Agriculture teachers are great at helping others and being supportive of anyone who has a question or needs advice. Now is a great time for all you ag teachers out there to post a piece of advice to the future generation of ag teachers or to those that are thinking about becoming agriculture teachers. We encourage you to use the hashtags tagged 20 and hashtag teach ag when you post your best advice for future agriculture teachers. wrap up the 2020 National Teach Ag Day celebration, we at NAA want to send a very heartfelt thank you to all the agricultural educators out there doing their very best to make this challenging time as meaningful, engaging, and purposeful for students as possible. We see you, we value you, we appreciate you, and we are in awe of you every single day. Thank you for all that you do. If what you've heard today sounds great, and you wanna be part of this amazing profession and be an agriculture teacher, please reach out to us at NAAE. You will find all the information that you need to contact us, as well as more about what it takes to be an agriculture teacher at NAAE.org backslash teachag. As we begin making plans for 2021, we hope that you will keep an eye out for more information about how you can get involved and be part of next year's 2021 National Teach Ag Day celebration. Whenever this, whatever day that happens to be for you. 
Thank you so very much and happy National Teach Ag Day to all of you.